Today, guys, we're going to take a quick look at the proper way to tie your belt. Remember, when you're tying your belt, it reflects the way that you're going to train. So if you take your time, pay attention to the details and make a good belt tie, you're probably going to train the same way. But if you do this sloppy, it's kind of setting the pace for the rest of your training. You'll probably train sloppy. So pay attention to the details, practice at home, and make sure you got a good belt tie. We're going to start out with a standard belt tie. So what I want to do is make sure that I find the center of the belt. And then I want to bring the center to my belly button and then wrap it around. Okay, so when I pull the tails out, they should be even. If they're not, I need to pull the shorter end a little bit, let it rotate. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to fold the right end left over top. So the left side is over top and the left is going to fold under and wrap around from bottom to top both layers of the belt. So it kind of locks the belt together. All right, now I pull tight as I need. Now from here we have a high side and a low side. The low side is going to fold in. It's not going to twist. Make sure it doesn't twist, but it folds in neatly. High side comes over top and then right up through the middle. Once again, they should kind of fold in place, not twist in place. And then we pull it. If we did a good job, our tail should be even. Both tails should be pointing down. They shouldn't be one high and one low, pulling down. You'll notice with the standard belt tie that we do have like an overlap in the back that's noticeable. Uh, we can take care of that with the, the Hollywood Super Knot tie. The Hollywood Super Knot tie. So what we want to do here is take the one tail, I, I use the right side, and I put it to the middle of the back. And now we're going to take the other side and wrap it around and around and keep bringing it around until we have the one tail out in the front. So this tail is going to come up from bottom to top behind both layers of the belt. And now we're going to pull out the second tail. And again, we have a high and a low side. All right, so for this one, the low side is going to fold up and go between the two layers goes between and now the high side is going to go through the loop and between the two layers so it looks like that they're not going all to the very back they go between the layers it kind of helps lock them in there and now we pull it and once again the tail should be nice and even pointing down the super knot looks a little bit different it locks it in a little tighter and then having the tails between makes it even tighter and then you'll notice in the back it's nice and straight so we have the hollywood it doesn't overlap it looks nice and clean very clean belt tie stays together very nice that's called the hollywood uh using the super knot variation i could go back and do the hollywood setup and then still just do a regular a regular tie variation standard tie and that's okay too all right the super knot just tends to uh, stay a little tighter, last a little longer. So those are two basic ways to tie your belt. Make sure you practice at home, come back, tie it nice before class, and remember the way you tie your belt reflects the way that you're going to train.